Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we work together with nature, meaning we work and nature together. Actually we have very little idea what it really means to work with nature. It's such a vast concept. But we do what we have to do and we're learning, we're growing and we look forward to rewards in five and ten years from now. This is our latest project. This is where we tap into the occasional creek and then spread some small amount of the water over the rest of the farm. This is a creek that was sabotaged uh, by placing a culvert under the road and forcing the water through the pipe. It increases the kinetic energy of the water 12-15 times and it brings a lot of erosion this way also a lot of silt sediment i have this wall here to push the water through that canal this is newly built the last two days the side outside of the fence is done with stone because I want this a natural area and it should overflow and therefore we have all these rocks there and this um, brickwork the cinder block work is done by our volunteer Zuck and it leads into our swale system. This has now been opened. It will be hopefully enlarged a bit. Reinforced instead of that bag. All the soil will come against this wall wall is also getting filled with sand. I want to plant some seeds in there and uh, it's a tremendous amount of water that can come through here. The calculated velocity of the water will be one meter per second. That brings about 5,000 joules of energy, kinetic energy and uh, for my small brain to understand this it's about the energy trapped in half a peanut that doesn't sound much but it's also um, about a hundred times more than what it takes to lift one liter of water one meter high. It's also the energy that is required, about 20% of the energy that's required to run your mobile phone, your smartphone per day. So, according the calculations, we have done it will have erosion but minimal on that earthen wall there so we are proud of this uh, all this should be backfilled all this earth should come back this way against this cinder blocks the dogs are moving slowly because it's hot. One of our 
39, 40 degrees Celsius days. The water fills up that basin. All this stonework is exactly the same height. And then the cinder blocks are a little bit higher. So I want it to spill over this way. We have a lot of stones in here and uh, all these ones will go there to create some form of leaky weir. Under this soil, dirt, is a lot of stones. I will not endeavor to move the soil and the water will do it for me and expose the stone, the rocks. So creek, inlet of water into our canal. Swale. And then we will have to upgrade the different swale systems to cater for much more water that will come this way. This swale here is uh, quite uneven, the base of it, because of the roots of these um, holm oaks. This exit will be made much bigger and then it runs into the next swale that is now full of all the stuff we have removed from the swale we have just seen. This one pipe is the irrigation pipe, the other one is our fire uh, moving water in case of fire problem. And the first thing we now can do is once the water reaches this area to build a proper spillway so that the water can actually dam up in these swales. We have only used about 30% of the capacity of these swells in the past because I just had to see if it works or not and now we will increase the water level to about three times higher than before so that it can be almost full full to what it can hold by preventing the water to leave something like this. This is my walkway. I will have to make sure that that is high enough to keep the water in the swale. And then as the water goes this way I have a few overflow escape routes for the water to go to many swells on the north east and uh, northwestern side of the farm if I don't want it to come all the way here but initially it should come this way because I want to fill the pond so a lot of tweaking will have to happen I expect a few Burn bursts. This is another place where we let the water go down here when we don't want too much in here. We'll have to be clever, we'll have to work with this flow of the water, and we will have to create some permanent structures to guide the water to where we want it to be.
This is one of the two earthwork programs we have. The other one is with the other culvert system. And that is still taking shape in my head. And we have received the cinder blocks and the cement and the stone and the sand to work on it. But let's first finish this one project and be ready. Trees are suffering. This is a khaki. They are irrigated every second day and still they appear dry. This is the second dormant period of the year, midwinter and midsummer. We are slowly making peace with that concept as well. Till next time, goodbye.